I hadn't shown you all the panels in a while, so people are asking me how many do I have. I have eight. I have two 100 watt kits mounted on the roof of my garage. And I've got them pointing directly at the sun. It is a perfect time to do this test I want to show you. And I'm going to hand the camera off to my wife here so my hands are free. Um, I've gone back to the original charge controller. This one I bought for 75 bucks at Harbor Freight. This is the one that comes with the 100 watt kit. And I am running two kits to it right now. So the change I did is I came out of here through my amp meter and directly to these bus bars. These bus bars are pure solar panel. There's no charge controller. They come out and go to the charge controller. So if you've noticed on my other videos, uh, my max amp output was 5.6 amps on this. I could never get any more out of it with the 200 watt kit. Um, right now it's at 7.8. A minute ago it was at 8.4. I got a cloud going over right now. But this is reading the amperage directly off the solar panel now. Okay, so what I wanted to show you was the solar panel output. What I'm going to do is I'm going to disconnect the battery from the charge controller for this test and I'm going to run the solar panel directly to the battery. I don't recommend doing it but here show this right here. These, these are the wires right off the battery and I'm going to touch these bus bars that are going directly to the solar panels. There's no charge controller involved that's why this shut off because I'm not pulling any amps. So I'm just going to run it directly to the bus bar. I know I'm at about 22 volts, but uh, the, the voltage will drop as soon as I draw current. Right now I'm at 8 amps, 7.9. It'll go back to about 8.4 once the sun comes in. You can see it went to 13 volts because I'm drawing a lot of current. That tells me right now that is the max output of those solar panels. There is no charge controller. I'm sucking all the juice I can out of those panels. It says 107.2 watts right there on the bottom. Uh, and it's a 200 watt setup. So I'm getting about half of what they're rated. Could be my location. Uh, could be just a slight angle of the panels but I believe I have a typical setup. I'm pointed directly at the sun right now and this is just a dead short right across the solar panels going to the battery. So that is max. So that's telling me this right here is giving me the exact max that I can get out of my solar panels. The 500 watt charge controller was not. It was only giving me 5 amps. This one is giving me the full output of this. So I believe this, I know this charge controller is not rated for 200 watts, but it's withstanding the 8 amps, which is what I should be getting with the 100 watts. So it's got a 10 amp fuse in it, and as long as I don't go above the 10 amps, I guess it'll last. So I'm going to stick with the original charge controller. It seems to work better. And I just wanted to show you that uh, I should be getting you know 16 amps possibly when I get the battery down to 11 volts and uh, like I said I'm coming right off of the battery so there is no reason right now to go get one of those MPP charge controllers because it's not going to benefit me whatsoever so because that's all I'm going to get those 8 amps that you saw right here is absolutely all I'm going to get uh, there it is at 8.2. The sun's shining real good right now. That's max. That's it. And I'm at the peak of my sun today. So I cannot get any more out of my panels set up the way they are. I'm not saying there's anything wrong with the panels. It's just the way they are. They are pointing directly at the sun though. So I just wanted to share that with you. And um, I thank you for watching. Have a great day.
Okay. I thought it was